I'm looking forward to new chapters in my life, new milestones, new lessons to be learned, new healing from past trauma. I hope that you're also looking forward to what's in store for you for 2023. Imani Angels and welcome, welcome back to Imani Beware. It is 2023. We have said goodbye to 2022. So as many of you know already, I decided to temporarily close our online um, store, our website, um, because I lost my mom in December. It is almost literally one month since my mom transitioned. And so, um, I'm still not ready to reopen the store, but I did want to come on, do a little short vlog, and just share with you guys, um, some things. Um, I do want to say, first and foremost, if you bought anything from Amani Beware from us, um, last year, 2022, we would, we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We appreciate you guys so, so much. So, since, um, about August, when we unexpectedly lost, um, our oldest brother, um, things have been just rapidly changing in my personal life, and, um, now we've lost our mom. Um, December 10th and so you know with the holidays and the new year I just really didn't you know spend a lot of time like I normally do deciding on New Year's um, goals um, or you know whether or not I'm going to cut off and tie back on so I really hadn't just thought about that process um, with just dealing with um, you know, the mourning process. I'm still mourning my mom and my brother. And, um, you know, just dealing with those emotions. Right after um, we laid my mom to rest, I had some pre-scheduled medical procedures that I had to jump right into. And so, even with that, it's just been literally a, 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 just a roller coaster of emotions and different things like that. So, I did think it was best to temporarily close a money beware, and I'm sure that you guys understand that. Um, hindsight, you know, um, we had a wonderful, wonderful 2022 as far as, you know, the business is concerned. And so I do want to express my gratitude and appreciation to each and every one of you guys. So it's been a long time since I've been in the office. It really feels good to be back here in my office. I got a lot of organization that I need to do. Um, but I definitely just wanted to share with you guys um, that what I decided to do, I had six tie-ons on. I decided to cut five of them off. And um, in honor of my mother, I decided to tie on five new waist beads. Now my mother's favorite color was blue. And my favorite color is purple. So in honor of her, um, I'm tying on um, some waist beads that have blue. And one that's very special to me to represent me and my mom's relationship or closeness that we had um, is going to be purple with some blue beads on it.
had not written down like I normally do near the end of the year, you know, like New Year goals and just a reflection on the previous year. I have not done that um, because I'm, you know, I'm still mourning my mother. I'm still very saddened that she's no longer with us. Not to mention, I'm going through a series of medical procedures myself. And so I have a healing process um, that I'm also going to have to go through. So, with that being said, um, I just decided to go ahead and just cut off these, these waste beads from 2022 and tie on my tribute beads for my mom. So, when I cut off waste beads, I don't trash them. I have literally, this container is full of waste beads that I've cut off. Um, for the last two years and I keep them because I can always re-tie them back on and you know put new intentions in place for those waste beads so I'm going to include the ones that I just cut off into my collection and I'll have them in case I decide that I want to tie them back on so my focus and my main goal for 2023 is going to be all about healing Healing from um, past traumas, uh, a physical healing, healing my body from the inside out, healing my mindset that I'll be more mindful, that I'll be more um, appreciative, that I'll be more considerate, that I'll be more, um, you know, just conscious of my energies and my energy budget. So for 2023, guys, I'm going to be really, really um, focused on, you know, healing. Whether that be, you know, through exercise, through more meditation, through, um, you know, deep breathing. Whatever that healing process is for me, whatever I need to get through, you know, a really, really good sense of healing for myself. Um, that's what I'm going to do. Now, of course, I'm still going to be focused on the business and growing the business and making beautiful waste beads for all of my money angels. That's not going to stop. But I am going to focus on healing this year. And I, you know, I just know that, you know, with me losing my brother and then my mother and um, going through my own transformations, um, medically physically emotionally then you know i know that this this personal healing um journey will be uh, it is needed and you know it will be beneficial so i i'm excited to see you know the lessons that i learned throughout this journey of just self-healing as well as you know just getting to really know myself all over again and loving myself all over again you know so i do want to say i i appreciate you guys so 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 much i feel like i'm all over the place because like i said it's been a minute since i've done a vlog um the one that you guys may have seen previously was already pre-recorded so it's been a minute since i've um recorded and um you know, especially when I'm going through, you know, um, this emotional stage right now, it, I, I feel a little awkward. So I, I just want to say that, you know, I really appreciate each and every one of you for all of your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel. Please share a money beware with your friends and family. Be sure to check out my affirmations, uh, video playlist guys. And, um, I look forward to what 2023 brings us. So I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to put all of my waste beads I cut off today in my waste bead bucket.